everyone and welcome back to another one of my deck guides. For today, I've put together a Nilfgaard list for you. Uh, we are working with the Enslaved Leader ability. This is an Enslaved 5 deck. So what this leader allows us to do is just seize an enemy unit, but it's going to be with 5 power or less because of the number of tactics that we have in this deck. Okay, The more tactics you have in a deck, the higher a unit you could seize. The stratagem that we have is Crystal Skull. Boost an allied unit by 4 and give it fail. For Crystal Skull, we really only have one target being Fire Scorpion. It is an engine piece in the sense that it's going to be gaining charges of damage whenever we play Tactics. So, you know, when you're going first, first thing you want to do is put Fire Scorpion down, give it the stratagem. It keeps it safe from poisons, locks, bleeding, any kind of status, okay? Gives it a bit of power so I can't die easy too. So this is an Enslaved 5 Mandrake deck. That's why I've gone with Enslaved 5, right? I want to experiment with Mandrake here. So Mandrake is this card. It allows us to reset a unit. So basically meaning returning it to its base self. Like if a card used an order ability, such as Damien, after using the order, you use Mandrake on Damien, and it's going to restore the ability to use its order once more. Okay? So... We're going to come around to this card. I don't want to get too much into it now because what I'm going to do is take you guys through this list bottom up and explain how best to play each card and when to play it. So to begin with, two major assassins. I'm sure you guys know how these cards work. They get thinned out of a deck through Blightmaker and they're going to do two damage when we thin them out. Um, so this is our thinning and our tempo cards. To make our deck consistent in different points of a match. You never know if you're going to get bled or if you want to bleed a bit too. But what you want to do with the Blight Makers is you want to play these round one. Keep the Mage Assassin in your deck, the card that I just showed you. When you play the Blight Maker, it's going to show you your deck. Click Mage Assassin, draw it out, two points of damage, good tempo. Play both Blight Makers probably after you've played Fire Scorpion first and given it the stratagem, all right? So. Blight Makers and Mage Assassins first round plays. Always keep Mage Assassin in your deck, all right? We have one lock because I think it's just good to have that. Sometimes it could help you, you never know. Extra control fits with the theme of our deck. Looking to play on the range draw for its lock ability, but you can use it for bleeding too if you like, but it's just a nice tech card. Fire Scorpion. Order is damage a unit by one. It has one charge to begin with. We're gaining charges as we play tactics. So it does make sense that, you know, with the Fire Scorpion and with Hefty Helge, they work in the same kind of fashion. So before we go ahead and start playing these cards out, basically what we want to do is ensure we have enough tactic cards in our hand to synergize with them. But yeah, first thing you want to do is before you start playing tactics, have these down on the board. So you're not wasting the ability to gain damage points, okay? These are pretty much a very vital key in our deck, um, adding to our control of the board, okay? Because we can do damage, but these really emphasize destroying units. So you could take one round one, and then take the other when you're going to play Hefty Helge. So you've got even more control. Coded weapons. It fits with the theme of a deck. Tactic, damage an enemy unit by five. If it wasn't a token, banish it and you're spawning a base copy on top of your opponent's deck. So, you know, you can brick your opponent's deck a bit. You can put um, some of the thinning cards back on top of their deck if you like with this. Maybe it's good to use these in the first round for that matter to, you know, clog up your opponent's deck a bit. Assassination, damage your unit by six. The best assassination target for us will be a unit that's left alone on its own row. So wait till your opponent plays like a six powered card on the range row. There's nothing next to it. You get a clean kill, six points. Very nice. Um, what I'd say about, you know, our tactics, like try to play them sparingly. Try to keep in mind that you want to have a lot of tactics when you're playing Helge for ultimate destruction value. Um, I think Remedy is pretty nice. Play a bronze unit from your opponent's graveyard. This will work particularly well against mage decks. You know, they put a lot of effort into generating patience value. They might have a unit with great patience value in their graveyard. Just go ahead and play Remedy on it on a on like if you're gonna pass into a long round three, for example, just play this at that time on a round two before you pass just to take it away from them. Because you know, with mage decks, they like to play Shiny, draw units out. So think of your opponent's deck and what they're gonna do and when this card plays good. 
Blight Makers, we've already outlined that. You're simply thinning out Mage Assassins with them, okay? Amnesty sees an enemy unit with three power or less. Um, I just like Amnesty for the extra reach it gives us. You can get Madoc, you can get Flying Redanian, um, anything within range, okay? Anything that you think's worth seizing. Soraeus is another good one too. Um, yeah, whatever you can think of, okay? You can even use Fire Scorpion to damage something down. Seize it with Amnesty, maybe a good engine piece of your opponent's. A lot, a lot of ways to play it. First cut, we've got heaps of special cards, so it makes sense to add this in. And um, I like fur cut in this deck because it gives us more thinning. Not only that, it contributes to um, spying statuses being played around the board. So whenever you play a special card, give spying to a random non-spying enemy unit. So the benefit of having fur cut down, playing him with all the specials, is that we got coup. And if a target has spying status, you get to spawn it and play it for yourself automatically, which could give us some pretty good value then, okay? But what you'd find is like, fur cut's really nice round one because you always want to thin early or round two latest. You try not to keep it beyond that. And um, it's really nice to play fur cut into dead man's tongue. That's usually a pretty nice play. Banish a card from your deck. If it was a bronze, banish another bronze from your deck. So bronze targets could be, if you think Amnesty doesn't play good in a match or Remedy, I mean, that's a lot of points together, banishing those and boosting Fur Cut with it. Or you could do something like, um, what else do we have here? Maybe you could do the Hunter and maybe one Coded Weapons, whatever you think's non-synergy in that match, go ahead and banish your Dead Man's Tongue. It's your choice. Like I said, Dead Man's Tongue, Fur Cut, and the, the Blight Makers, Kind of get them out round one, second round latest as much as possible. There is a tip though with Fur Cut. Um, you can use it to synergize with Yennefer. So for example, you could pull a unit with Yennefer, placing an enemy unit at the top of your deck. And then you could play that immediately by playing Fur Cut down into a special card. Because play a special card from your hand, then you get to draw a card, right? So we've got some different synergies like that that we can rely on. Meno here, play a tactic card from your deck. Makes a lot of sense to have Meno in our deck. Our deck's full of tactics. Um, maybe this could ensure that you get bribery for Stefan, which is really important. Coup, um, you know, Amnesty might be really important to see something. Once again, more thinning, more reach. Play it as you need to. It's pretty flexible in this deck. Helge, it's a shielded unit, full power. As opposed to the Fire Scorpions, this is doing two points of damage. So we really want this protected behind Defender when we're playing this. Um, it's usually going to be over a long round 3, or if you're going to 2-0 your opponent, depending on their strategy, okay? Hmm. Then we got War Council. Look at the first three cards on top of your deck, and you're playing one of them. Huh? A good tip that I'll give you of War Council is, it's a tactic itself. So if you've got Helge down Fire Scorpions, that's already going to give a charge to them, more damage. And then if you reach for another tactic, you know, you're going to get even more charges. So this can give you a lot of control if you're playing it in that kind of a style. Keep that in mind. Okay, so now I'm going to get into Mandrake. You get to reset a unit. So if the unit is boosted, like you, you could use this on your opponent's unit, right? Like if they've got a, a unit which has got like a really tall boost and you want to use it like that, fine. You've got a reset card in your deck. But if you think it's going to come in handy for something else, what we're looking to use it for here, such as Stefan. So the idea would be like, you play Stefan, click his order, it's done. And then next turn you can use Mandrake on him. It reactivates your ability to click him again and make extra tactic copies. Um, with Damien, same thing. You, it will allow Damien to re-enable your leader again. So you could play a triple enslaved leader. It's crazy, crazy, crazy what we could do here. Um, optimally, what we're going to look to do with Mandrake is get Bribery three times, right? You're playing Bribery, the original copy here. Stefan plays another. And then Mandrake, Stefan, you get a third Bribery. That would be the optimal thing you can do. So look to save Bribery for when you're playing Stefan. Probably play Stefan's second last and Bribery as your last card. Defender here is to give protection to... It's going to be, first of all, like... When, when you're looking to play your Helges and Damien and all those cards, 
First thing you're going to do really is put defender down so they get protection, right? So they don't get killed. So if you're going over a long round three, first thing you could do is you play defender followed by Helge, um, Scorpion, and then you, you know, later play Damien and stuff like that. So it's just for protection in our deck, okay? Stefan, you play him on the range throw. You get to spawn and play a copy of the last tactic card you played this round. And you're giving it doomed. As I said, um, bribery is fantastic. Another card that could give you a lot of value, keeping in mind synergy with Helge and Fire Scorpion, could be War Council, as I said, because you're getting a lot of triggering of charges by playing extra tactics. You could search in your deck for more tactic cards, play tactics. It could work really nicely. Um, Yennefer's just in our deck for some control. Place an enemy unit at the top of your deck. I've added in Yennefer because our opponents are playing a lot of decks where they like to renew cards from the graveyard, summon from the graveyard. It's a big part of their win condition. I've built this deck, um, you know, in consideration of the meta, what could work good against it. Ku's a tactic, so it's going to trigger charges for Scorpion and Helge. Echo, we get to play it twice. The way I like to play Ku is we're just using it for its, its borning capacity, right? Look at your opponent's units. If there's a unit which is really good that you want to use for yourself, damage it down with Helge, Scorpion, Death Blow it with this, and you get to spawn and play a base copy of it. So it could be like a defender, it could be anything which you think is worthwhile, all right? Then Damien allows us to re-enable um, our leader ability. So like I said, we're in Slave 5, we get to seize a 5-powered enemy unit. Damien allows us to do that at least twice, but three times through Mandrake. Damien, you play him on the melee row, play him and Stefan late in the match usually. So that is an outline of the list. I'm just going to briefly run through the strategy for you so you know exactly what to play when. Um, first round, as I said, Fire Scorpion, Stratagemet, play Blight Makers, play Dead Man's Tongue, Fur Cart, right? If your opponent's deck is a greedy deck where they're just relying on boosting, they don't have much control, and they kind of want to 2-0 you like a monsters kind of style deck, just dry pass round two and go into a long round three. So let's say that's happened. Then what you want to do is you play Defender first, followed by uh, Fire Scorpion if you've got another in your hand, but definitely Helge. And then once you've got those cards down, you want to start thinking of you know using Ku to spawn cards against your opponent, um, killing whatever comes up, seizing with amnesty, using your leader to take your opponent's engines, and then you know you could go for Damien, Stefan later, and at the end of a match you got Yennefer for tall punish. Okay, so that's just an example. I really hope you're gonna enjoy playing this deck, and let me know how you go with it. We've got a lot of ways to seize, and do a lot of seizing action. Yeah, we could come back to it. It's a bit gold heavy, the hands. Yeah. And it gives a defender its status back after purify. Would it really? That's interesting. Reset a unit. You think it works like that? I honestly got no idea. I haven't experimented with it that far. It'd be interesting to know. If you guys know in chat, say it. But I'm not sure. Yep. Let's hope they don't have coral. Maybe Blight Maker first was good too. Ooh. That's a bit of a heavy play, is it? Wow, you seen it work like that? Oh wow, interesting. Interesting deck, like, so they've gone three charges already, round one. They've got a very specific style they're playing for sure. 
So what are the other charges for? It's not bad to Yennefer that, to be honest. Accept our sacrifice! As good as dead, that lot. Yeah, that's it, you think? Well, if that's the case, we just go a long round, right? Yeah, that's why I think I'm gonna... I'll probably just... Do you guys reckon take that? Would you take it? Or just play down? I mean, we got a thin too, though. And I'm just, I'm just gonna play it like this. Yeah, yeah, that's right. Yeah, it's, it's wiser for us to thin, I think. We want to pull like a ton of good cards and then go into a long round, I think, with these guys. No good wine will come from Smarter, right? Not even Let's go for a long round. I think I'll leave it. I'm, I'm not really... I think we just... Yeah, we'll leave it like that. Yeah. Basically, their strategy is get round control and just like 2-0 you, right? So, we're a control deck. We just want a long round against them. Because they shouldn't have the tools to deal with our defender and stuff. This is a sweet hand. I'm very happy with this. Yeah, we're, get, we're gonna pull everything. This should be in our favor. It's fantastic. Yeah. I know, it's beautiful, eh? It's great, man. It does look like the kind of graveyard that gets um, pulled back to the board, right? <laughs> Especially these two here. Uh, we should have some devastating control. They're not really going for this. Yeah. Okay. Uh, we want to get held though. All right, all right. Flight makes still points. Either way. Uh, like, we could pull it and then use a defender for ourselves. I could damage that and seize it. There's, there's like a lot of different things we could do. But as far as tall punish goes... I think it's okay. Uh, heat wave as well. Okay, yeah, yeah. If they play something good, we just we can seize it right away. Before I go war council, I'm gonna get my units down though. Uh Um, like fur cut ain't bad, but nah, it's too it's too early for fur cut. Draco turtle iris. Oh damn it! We gotta shut that down, man.
Okay, okay. We'll use this synergy back on them. Black I still got Defender in hand. <laughs> nice. Stop killing that doggy, you rotten priest. <laughs> tell him. Tell him, man. Tell him. Uh... Like, I could even play S Stefan early. Just... Hmm. Kill them all? Yeah. Chicken Gossip, what's up? This Jedipal always says, check out the gun show. <laughs> I'm trying to keep it low key. I don't want to make my stream about that. Nah, how you been? Good? Nice to see you on. Should try to kill off Melusine. And I think it's good. Stress. Maybe we play Damien late? How does this one work? Fully heal. Okay, so fully heals. I guess we want to kill this off right away. Wow, Heim? <laughs> Are you serious? Oh man. <laughs> oh man. Oh. <laughs> yes. Come on. We got it. I'm sure they bring it back, but yeah. <laughs> it was nice though. It was good points, right? There's still good points, man. That was funny. So yeah, we'll hit bribery now with this. Why does it come back as 12? Um, because the base power increases on it as the turn goes on. And then whatever state it was in when it went to the graveyard, like its base state, I guess it comes out like that. Yeah. So yeah, we can go uh, Mandrake here, which is... Go Bribery again. <laughs> Buy him again? Yo, you... Nah, man. This is dirty. <laughs> oh, no way, this is filthy. That's insane. Seriously. Um, let's set up Damien. Okay. Actually, I could have went for another bribery again. But anyway, I'll go, I'll go Damien. I can use Mandrake on Damien. And we'll go Blight Maker last. 
That's that's crazy. <laughs> do it again. Do it. Rage quit. <laughs> it's crazy, guys. So true. So true. <laughs> oh, that was filthy, man. That was so filthy. I gotta go wash my hands after playing that. Uh, pretty much got all the cards we're looking for. And Drake. Maybe we come back to that. Oh, it's very good. good. It's really gold heavy hand. Let's see, let's see. I think if I win round one, I want to push into round two because I'm playing cards with order ability. We're slower to respond. So let's hope. What? Morkvark? Wow. I am I'm very surprised, my friends. And doesn't leader it. That's when you should have used Morkvog. <laughs> <laughs> You should have used it then, man. <laughs> nah, it's a bit of an early commit. It was, yeah. <laughs> you stand before the Queen of Skellige. Yeah, very confident. Mm. That's not getting the way of me wow, I don't know. It's interesting to me, it is. A fine vintage it would have made. It's pro practice. Look, it's pro rank. You can see, you know how you know if it's pro rank? You just look at this up here. That's how you know. They really want to win on even? Yeah, but not like that, man. It's I don't know. It was really suboptimal play. It's really no bueno. And like we got great tempo here. <laughs> it's a waste. It's a waste for them. Like you know they could have used that on our defender, right? And really screwed us. Oh, double hit on the same one. Yes. I'd really like to bleed. I really want to go into round two now. I just need certain cards. <laughs> you know me, man. I like to be kind. I'm not. I'm not a harsh person. <laughs> Everyone messes up, man. It's all good. It's all good. I have no defender guys if i play into this with no defender card down i think we just get thrashed maybe because morkvark's out of the way it's all right to go a long round I feel I really need defender anyway. Your skull will make a body tanker. 
He feels so evil now. An underperforming move. <laughs> ah, that's the way, man. That's the way. Ah, there it is. What's the next card? I think we have everything otherwise. Yeah. Great, great. Looks pretty sweet. I got four mulligans. Give me a minute. I literally had four. That's a good lock target, actually. Kind of worked out. Assassinate it, you think? Enslave target? I'm trying to think of what else is coming up. That's why I'm not playing like that. Um, so many options. <laughs> yeah. I don't want to be too hasty. you filthy <laughs> you guys are influencing me plays it from graveyard okay well you know it's really good to get that out of the way in a sense too not so bad i'm not i'm not sure how our units are gonna last there's the thing like Now we're just open though. Open targets. What if, should I play slow a bit? I don't know. It's... it's very risky now. Very risky. This is why I wanted to push into round two, you see? Because we're slower to respond like this. Goes gutting slash. It's a bit of a commitment there. That actually saves this now. This, this would be the time to play this now, I feel then. Because we got that out. Yeah, I played a lot of Letho styles, man. That's why I'm going with something different. Feel free to check out my Letho decks. I'm trying to keep it fresh and different. And Mandrake does work though. So yeah, I, I could definitely show you. I got a lot of Enslaved 6 uh, Letho type of decks. <laughs> Plenty. And they're very devastating. Because you can go double Damien and all that. But this is a different provision cost. You got to remember that too. This is eight. They got no answer for this. <laughs> I'm gonna use it again. <laughs> I'm gonna use it again, man. If you got no answer. You should have killed it, man. No one's expecting Mandrake. You should have killed it, man. Yeah, this this is definitely the cease target. 
Man, this is the Mandrake value. Very nice. So, we'll place Stefan very late. Okay, okay, hold on. Now bribery into secret mandrake. <laughs> okay, okay. Two bad sides. It is better to be on the winning one. So this way, this is very nice. Uh, pulling that with Yen, we trigger damage and get some good control. Uh, this dies. Okay. So we'll go Stefan, and let's just get a crazy pool of bribery, guys. Double bribery, come on. Of course, friend. Survive. Oh. <laughs> okay, okay. Uh, let's see. Mock fog. It's probably coral. What a win. Oh, what pulls. Wow. That was psycho, man. Jousting pretty early for that. Maybe it saves this now because they used it there. Just beat a Kelly deck with my... <laughs> no way. Wow, you're really playing that hard, aren't you? You're talking about last stream too. Nice. So it's pretty solid. Good win rate. Uh, how many tactics? Uh, it's like 8 to 10. Maybe 10. It's, it's just out of range of Enslave 6. We've got a lot of tactics.
90% win rate, wow. <laughs> it shouldn't win. Honestly, whenever I verse those decks, they're pretty hard to verse because a lot of low powered units doing good damage. And like you might have tall punish, but you can't blast them all. So you need some like consistent control. Maybe a deck like this would work good against that kind of thing. I don't know. Uh, you're not in pro ranks. That's okay. Well, I'm sure at any rank you see people are playing meta decks anyway. So. We'll probably just go blight maker now. No good wine will come from here, not even cost. We're up on points, which is nice. We do have good tempo with this deck, you'd be surprised. Blight makers are solid on their own, but having fur card, dead man's tongue feels great. I so would have loved to have another Blight Maker here, you know? Instead of that Mage Assassin in my hand. It's unlucky. That's a really good coup target, but I don't have it in my hand. Might be worth playing another card. Maybe just one more. Maybe fur cut because it'll give us some thinning. Two bad sides. It's better to be on the winning one. Mr. Five Percent, what's up? How are you? Oh, it got us to win on even. You see, that's that's why I wanted to play just one more card. I knew it was coming. That's really good for us. Let's just get Blight Maker. Some good tempo here. We might even go for it. The hand's pretty good. Might play into it. You struggle against the Simulate? Yeah, yeah, that's right. Jackpot 50-50. Wow, that's fantastic to hear, my friend. Well done. Very, very happy for you. Great, great news. And it's, it's a man, it's like a the hand's good. Hey, what do you guys think? Like, yeah, we're missing Mandrake and that, but honestly, other than that, we pretty much have what we need. Um. Maybe we just play a bit slow and see like what they throw out here. Win on even is comfortable. Okay. I shall not repeat Amir's mistakes. Yeah, I think if they're doing that now, maybe I'd I'd go for it. Onward, onward to be showered, I think we can use leader good here with Scorpion. Yes, yes. Does it go Yennefer? Uh, maybe they didn't get their good cards because they're playing this now. They didn't play it first. Fantastic. Come on, my friends. Let's channel our good thoughts. War Council could pull us something very nice too. This could be bad for them if they don't have an answer for Defender. If they're going to plan on playing another defender, we just seize it. Easy, easy seize. Impenetrable defense. We got shields, armor, you name it, we got it. Damien coming in hot. Ah. Serious. You know that was a lucky pull, man. That was a lucky pull. You can't tell me out of all my cards, they just happened to get Yen there. <laughs> nah, well done, well done. Yeah, definitely going 
for sure. They look like they're struggling. They're panicking, as you can see. It's a good sign for us. You've got to use psychology in Gwent, you know, you got to suss those things out. They're freaking out right now. This means they're not in a good spot, right? I just hope they're going to play a defender through the spy. And war council. <laughs> yeah, we could, we could. Man, this could be a decent seize, to be honest. Because think about it. It's going to give us even more charges now with our tactics here. It could be a decent seize. I'll do it. I'm not afraid to go for it. Like, they're going to be leveraging off this the most. Wait, what do I have in deck? Sure, sure. Target acquired. It's looking good. Yeah, 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 exactly. Let's take Defender. Can we get it down? It's a bit tall. Okay, we could go... We can go Yennefer, then War Council. And we get our Defender back, just like that. You're taking my cards, and we're taking back, man. Can't blow me like that. Come on. Got this. Thank you, thank you. Wait. I'm very grateful. We probably shouldn't grieve the charges too much. Just... There's probably no purpose to greed the charges. Uh... Yes, yes. KG Toxic Streamer. <laughs> oh, yo. We can seize Defender. We're going to get Damien and seize it. What do you guys think? That'd be pretty sweet. Uh, we missed out on Mandrake, but hey, man. Let's go for... You know why I'm going for this? It's going to trigger even more charges for us anyway here. It, it's very good. We'll, we'll do this. Yeah, look at that. Uh, we're going to go Damien next. Yep, yep. Damien next will take their defender. Another defender. Oh, I better go before they clog my row. Okay, so they can't get nothing. They've just put it there. Wait a second. They shouldn't have done that. It's alright. Happens, happens, my friend. Under my protection. So we got two, four, six, seven, eight. We can just take that in. Well, I could kill this off anyway. Illusionist? Man, whatever you're gonna create, I'm gonna kill it, dude. I got a lot of charges here. It ain't gonna survive. I'm telling you. It's not surviving, my friend. Yes. 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 Thank you very much. Appreciate it. It has to be this now. It's it's risky. But yeah, 
We have to. So order ability. I guess it would have been good to kill that off. Anyway, we're very good for points. Um, okay, we win. I was gonna say, we had Mandrake to pull, didn't we? And Bribery. It's actually pretty nice for us. That's good. Blight Maker for thinning. Fur Cut for a bit of thinning. That's good. You want to play your thinning cards first, always. see what kind of a jackpot deck they are it's gonna be crazy uh poison wipeout or just king of beggars axe collector corporations are people too Could seize it with Amnesty. Maybe Amnesty is good for boat too. I might save it. Maybe I go coup onto that. We can get some coins. Peaches. It's been a long, hard road, hasn't it? Well, we we'll get the option to lock as well. Two bad sides. It's better to be on the winning one. Man, out of all the cards I could have pulled, seriously. <laughs> I was full on hoping I wasn't gonna pull this. I promise you guys. As I was doing that, I was like, nah, there's no way I can pull that. That's just unbelievable. Uh yeah, we could maybe we, we hold this. Just my luck. Don't blame me for your crooked nose. Well, it's a good idea to kill that off too, you know, because they do the bonded thing. But we're still ahead like this. It's good to be ahead on points against these guys. Definitely. Sewer Raiders. They could be struggling for points here. This is a pretty good pull. We'll just um, keep up on points. Chris Clark, what's up? Pretty good. How's things with you? Thanks for coming on. Appreciate it. I'm playing in Slave 5 um, on this stream. It's a deck that I put together with Mandrake. So you can play Damien twice and uh, Stefan twice. Try to keep it spicy for you guys. I say we just go dead man's tongue. That's that's not too bad too. Maybe one of these. That.
If we can win on even and then bleed with blight makers, I think it's good for us. Maybe take card advantage. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> nice. Glad to hear you like it. Savola already? No one can stop the Salamandra. Wow. No one. We already got Savola out. I think that's fantastic. That's like um, pretty much their win condition. If Savola is already out here, I think that's really good. Um, yeah, they went first. um the power you know you could use it like um like a spores right like a yurden kind of a thing like you could use it to reset a unit like its power or you could use it to reset its ability so yeah but that's pretty good to get out of them guys um just thinking Maybe I'll pass. I think it's really good to get Savola out first round. That's that's how they smash you at the end of the match. <laughs> they smash you with Savola usually. And they get um, King of Beggars out and all that. They went first. Remember that. Yeah, yeah. Still using the border and title? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> It's pretty it's a pretty good one, yeah yeah it is. Uh we got both blights. So I wonder how they expect to play from here though, after doing that. I think I might pass this off now. Oh, <laughs> Come on man. That's the second time I pulled it. Oh my goodness. I think a long round is bad for them now because they've blown their uh, win condition. So yeah, we'll just do this thing. We got a lot of good cards coming up. Should be really nice for us here. And this, this is a bit of a pain. And remember, we got rid of boat as well. We've got boat as well from them. So I think we did really good. Nice, nice. I reckon War Council could could pull us something. But we'll just play it a bit slow. Let's play like this. War Council should get us Defender. Most likely. Maybe I'm going to do it once I get my um, Helge down. You know, if they play Freak Show, we just seize it right away with Leader. It's perfect for us. What I say, guys? Take away their control, I think they'll have a very hard time against us. We could even just kill it. But I'd rather save playing tactics as I have these down. Yeah, take it. Good, good. We can let them waste their removals on whatever cards they're seeing here now. Yeah. What? <laughs> That's interesting. Could it be their only spend up? I 
I think we just kill it. You know, I could have even copied one of those units as a defender. I, I don't know how much risk we're in here like this. Primary handle, hey bro, single salamander. It looks like we're versing that, but they blew Savola around one, believe it or not. Got a lot of different ways that we can go about answering this now. Um, I mean, I could just go, I could just kill it right away. What we can do is use Q on this, and we can give us a defender. That's a pretty sweet play, I think. Give us protection. Didn't see that. Strange play. <laughs> yeah. We're actually pushing them really good round one, and they got down on points, and maybe they panicked and did that. Damien will go through. Yeah, yeah. We can go two defenders, I think. We'll go one melee row for Damien and we'll go uh, wall council for ours. <laughs> That'd be pretty nice. That'd be really good to pull off. So yeah, that's how we're using Q in this deck. It's more just like for the creative ability it gives us. That's it. Like you can spawn their units against them. So? We like look, we've got toll punish for the end of the match. It's safe to leave here now, like that. I could just greed the charge, I think. Do you guys think they have any more control outside of Brick Show? If not, I might just go for um, Stepan for double bribery. What's the chat's consensus? What would they have? Thanks, man. Really appreciate it. Hope you're doing well, buddy. Appreciate you coming on. If it's Salamander, then no. Yeah, yeah. They play Philippa? I was thinking that. This is the one time Salamander, isn't it? It's not double. Oh, wow. Trying to get through. We're going, we're going Defender. Damage 3 adjacent units, whenever you pay a tribute ability, gain one coin. Maybe Damien next? Could take it with Damien. I don't know. Salamandra variant. This is a pretty popular one that's out at the moment with these. Yes, yes, yes. Vigilance is 
I might just kill it now. Mandrake is for Damien or Stefan. That's why. So you can play them twice, my friend. Yeah. And they've already played Zavola around one. I think we got this. So what, they kill Defender now? Yeah, yeah. They kill Defender, don't they? Maybe they got Fist Tech. King of Beggars is already dead, by the way. We've blown it in the graveyard. We got a Yennefer target here. Yo, check this out. So I've clicked leader once, right? So we got that there. We got defender here. <laughs> oh, this is gonna be filthy, man. But we do need um, we need units to seize. I could go bribery next. It gives me a charge. Maybe I damage something down, and we got that there. <laughs> yeah, you could use Mandrake for Tall Punish, but I, I want to show you guys this style. It's dirty. <laughs> uh, Mandrakes? Mandrake always worked like that, yeah. We'll see about that. There's still a few cards left. Anyway, the units are quite tall. We got Yennefer here. <laughs> uh, filthy play, hey? I think they're quite worried now. Yeah, there's a seize target. So they're gonna boost Trafficker up. They don't use it? Guys, my my opponent's um, pretty chill. Thank you, sir. Nice doing business with you, my good friend. Yes, yes, Damien, nice to see you. Thank you, Damien, really appreciate it. Uh, I think bribery is good. Profit two. Does it, does it matter what we're doing here with this? Double Freak Show? Uh, yeah, why not? Look, this way, we got four points of damage, so, so we can still use Leader on something. We can go Leader, damage, see something. Roland, you're talking about? Oh, you never seen it played? Yeah. <laughs> uh, Yennefer's just gonna destroy them anyway. But yeah, we definitely could have went Mandrake, like, offensively. Like, use it on their unit. You could have done that too. That's fine. In some matches where they go so tall, do it. Don't worry about it. But maybe in other matches where they got important engines. Yeah. Wait, could they be renewing that? I'm afraid, man. Because <laughs> I, I know this Salamander stuff. Yeah, I, I reckon sees it, eh? Man, you ain't that quick, man. You ain't that quick on me here. No way. <laughs> I'm not killing it, man. I just put out a freaking Salamander deck, all right? I'm not messing with that. They, they could literally beat us there. Yeah, yeah. Imagine if it's Renew now. That would have been nuts. Like, they could have actually won it. Still.
<laughs> filthy, filthy deck, eh? <laughs> Double freak show, Caesar. Ah, uh, right. Nice. 